All right, moment of truth. Ahead. Now then, I shall announce the expedition members at this time. Guildmaster, the memo, please. The chosen members are written on this memo. Step forward if your name is called. Oh, it's finally happening. My heart's a pounding, by golly. Without further ado, I'll announce those who've been chosen. Our first member, Loudred. Yes, I did it! But if you really think about it, it's only natural that I'd get picked. So you. Big talker, yup yup. Is he saying he wasn't even nervous? Next up, Corfish. Hey, hey, hey! Got it! I got picked! Ugh, that's a relief. Next is... Oh, what's this? Well, this is a surprise. Our next member is Bidu. Really? Really and truly? Golly, I'm actually going on the expedition. Eh? Anything the matter, Bidu? Come on, step forward. Uh, I sure want to step up, but... I feel am I overwhelmed? My legs can't move. So be it. We'll ignore it and move on. Next up, Sunflora and Chimeco. Oh, us too. Uh, yes, and there we have the expedition party members. <laughs> Looks like those losers are out. <laughs> Serves them right. They had it coming. So, that's it for the exploration members. Uh, wait. What? Something scribbled on the margins of the memo. Guildmaster's writing is such a messy scrawl. So hard to decipher. If I said that out loud. If I said that out loud, the consequences wouldn't be pretty. Best to keep a stiff upper beak and swallow those words. Yeah, it appears there are more expedition members. The others are, uh, Diglett, Dugtrio, Krogunk, oh, and Celion and Casey. That is all. Wait a second. What? 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 Guildmaster? This list is everyone in the guild! Yep, that's right. Well then, it seems the whole selection process was meaningless. Moreover, if we were to all go, we'd be leaving the guild empty. Are you sure it'll be alright to leave the guild with no one to look after it? It'll be fine. We'll lock up properly. Guildmaster, I also have some misgivings. Do you think perhaps we may have too many members for an expedition? Hmm. When a friend asks something like that, I have to wonder why. I mean, first of all, why does everyone have to go? What's the point in having everyone participate? Huh? Oh, well, of course there's a point. That is, if everyone went, it'd be more fun. What? will be noisy, excited, having fun! I started thinking about it and it made me so, so excited I couldn't sleep! W so that's how it is, everyone! We're all going on the expedition, and it'll be fun, fun, fun! Let's all do our best! Eh, well, that's settled. Fine, let me explain the schedule. Right after this, I'll hold a briefing at, on the expedition. As such, the chosen members, and that is, everyone, each of you should get prepared to embark on the expedition. Let me remind you, this is a guild-exclusive expedition. You may not bring non-guild members of your teams. As such, you won't be able to add members at Chimeco Assembly or subtract them. They simply aren't allowed. Keep that in mind when you're making preparations. When you're ready, come back here. That is all. Dismissed. I can scream. I'm so happy everyone's going. Her killed master's done it again. So shocked I'm tingling. I wasn't expecting to be picked, so that was a pretty that was a total surprise. I'm glad we never gave up. Hey, hey! My golly. 
mighty happy everyone's like, this getting to go. Oh, but not just me. Everyone. It's like I'm dreaming. It's making me feel mighty emotional. <laughs> it's no dream. It's really happening. Anyway, since we're all going, it means we're all gonna have to get to be put to the test as well. I'd like to propose all of us apprentices work as, uh, work as one. Let's make this expedition a success. The ETF has sent a message. You've earned a treasure bag, bag exploration. Er, treasure bag expansion. Sorry. Blarg. So. Currently, we cannot take any missions. What we have to do is prepare and make sure we have everything we need for when we go. Once we go, we can still modify items in the bag, but only at very specific situations and intervals. We also need to be especially careful about the items we use along the way. Because while we're on the expedition, in some case, while we're... Ugh, tongue. Mystery Dungeon has this thing where there are certain points where you have to do multiple dungeons back to back to back without being able to modify your bag. Within Blue Rescue Team, I believe there were... Blue and Red Rescue Team had, like, one specific section in which you had to do that. This game has two. This is the first of those two. So, for that for that purpose, we're going to look over our bag again. Make sure that we are taking everything we need and nothing more. Since it's just going to be the two of us, we don't need any bands. We also don't need Geo Pebbles, because we're going to be finding those along the way. to store, really. Huh, I thought it would be gimmicking with more items than that. Although, we do have a few things to take out, specifically a gold ribbon and a special band to sell. Aside from that, I believe gray gummies are for steel types. Should probably leave those just in case. Yeah, that should do it. Let's see what's in the shop. We've got a lot of guild funds to work with. The reviver seeds are already tempting. I may buy one, but just in case, let's check the orbs. I think, I, I think I'm only going to be buying a Reviver Seed. surprised. We have a decent amount of money in the bank.
Okay. When the other apprentices assemble, we'll commence the briefing. Until then, just wait. All accounted for, it seems. Well then, let me begin. First, the objective. Explore Fogbound Lake. Fogbound Lake? Correct. It's a lake said to be located far to the east. However, it's perpetually enshrouded by dense fog. As such, the actual existence has never been confirmed. It's merely the foggy mirage of a spot that lives to this day on rumor alone. It's also rumored a treasure of exquisite beauty is hidden there. Treasure? We're going on a treasure hunt! Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, it'll be fun, fun, fun! Everyone, open up your wonder maps. First off, this is where the Fogbag Lake is supposed to be. An uncharted territory. The area is shown under cloud cover. Our guild is here. As you can see, the lake is at a considerable distance. We'll encamp at the foot of the highlands here. That will be our base camp. If we're to travel all, all at once in a single group to the base camp, our mobility would be pretty restricted. The strategy is to split up to several groups. I'll announce those groups now. First, Sunflora, Loudred, Diglett, Krogunk. You guys, you'd better not hold me back! You should talk. Next group, Dugtrio, Chimeco, Corfish. We're a solid group. I promise to try my best. Hey, hey, likewise! Uh, let's see here, uh... Guildmaster and I will travel as a pair. Acceptable, yes? Aww, I have to go with Chatot. That's so boring! Please don't be difficult. This is a key element of our strategy. Aww, meanie. Our guests, Team Skull, should travel independent of us as their own group. Understood. And last, Celiana, Casey, Bidu. We're the same group! I hope I can keep up, yup yup. Same here. Well then. Everyone, let's get to it and move out. So yeah, as opposed to having our own party members for this, we have to work with Bidoof. The guild's expedition party began making its way to Fogbound Lake. According to plan, the party was split into the designated groups. The group our group settled on a route along the, along the seacoast. Chapter 7 oh, Wow, the sea is right this way Look at this cliff Yup, yup, I reckon this is looking more and more like a true expedition The path ahead surely gets tricky Just what real explorers like to see And this This is something all explorers know about Kangaskhan Rock. Kangaskhan Rock? Yes, sir, you heard right. This is a Kangaskhan Rock. It lets you store and take out items and save. It's a real help to travelers. Well, I haven't had much of a chance to use them, but I reckon I should not talk like it's a big shot. I just want to say again, this is my first expedition. I'm feeling kind of nervous, by golly. <laughs> Same here. We're all beginners at this. Let's do our best. Let's have a look at that map. This is where we are now. This is where we're supposed to be going. So as a first step, maybe try reaching this spot. I agree with that. Serion is acting like a leader. I didn't notice it before. Must be the excitement from exploring that's bringing it out. Normally, she's kind of timid, but 
In a situation like this, she tries so hard. Getting stronger every single day. Huh. Problem? If you look closely, this path splits in two. That's vexing. What do we do, Casey? Which way do we go? So, another important thing to note about the expedition. And at that, also, when we get to the other item, too. We get to pick our dungeon. One of these dungeons is a false path. It will loop back here, but give us some items in the process. The other is the proper path. So to start with, let's check out the side path. Ah! It's a wingle! Eh, uh, this is awkward. This is really awkward, I can't do shit. Uh, eat. Blow fire. Can I stop being confused, please? Thank you, game. Now that we have the opportunity... I don't know if we can check b -doops. Nope, we can't check his IQs. Damn it. As for the moves that Bidoof has, I'm pretty sure it's... Ah. I'm pretty sure it's Growl. As we've already seen, Headbutt. Oh my god. Siliana, step in, please. I believe it's Growl, Tackle, Headbutt, and I think he has a Water-type move. Don't quote me on that. If you're worried that we might ever run out of moves in between uh, dungeons to explore, don't worry. We get a full refresh every dungeon we complete. Ah, uh, criminy. Let's hope he doesn't have non- let's hope he has non-traitor. Well, b at least not attacking, such so that's good. Seriously? Some extra rocks. Good. Bidoof, are you just not attacking? Oh my god, Speedy. Criminy. Thank you, Cell. 
I believe the side paths also end at, like, five floors? I could be misremembering. Decoy orb. Excellent find. And a level up. I think that's a dead end over there. Ah! <sighs> Sucks. Okay. Dragon Rage. Donk. Oh, why? Self, please, help. I need an adult. Oh, good. And it doesn't seem like there's anything else to worry about, so... Get me out of here, please. Slice you. Really? Uh, at least it worked out in the end. Ooh, another blast seed. Excellent. I'll make up for the one we had to spend earlier. Slice. And I think that's about it. Just step on the stairs, immediately right in front of us. Excellent. Ooh, a Petrify Orb. That one will stun- will inflict Petrify on the first target in the line, if I remember correctly. You guys can handle that, right? Good. Come on, Wingle. You know you want some. Cell? Being a bit too cavalier there, don't you think? Fossil Orb. Makes enemies pause. Essentially, enemies cannot move. They could still attack, however. Seriously? Are you guys just gonna be dummy dummy here? Come on, get a move on. Yeah, at least push out another party member. That way we can deal with it a little more succinctly. Cell, you can take care of it, right? Thank you. These gastrodon. They have it out for us. This place again. Seems we're back out from where we came from, yip yip. I guess that path looped us right back to where we started. If we aim to move on, maybe we should go to Craggy Coast. Yeah, let's take another shot at this. 
Whenever possible, I will try to show off the side pads. No guarantees at all. This does give us an opportunity to store some items. Such. I think that should do. Also not bad. The types of Pokemon we're going to find in Craggy Coast here are going to be... Water types, Ice types, and there will be some dragons. We're also going to find a new type of item very rarely. Such, we've already found one, actually. A Sinister Box. You're probably thinking, okay, why are these boxes important? They're not important now. Hold on to them. From now on, there will be a very rare chance for enemies to, on death, drop one of these boxes. Additionally, while exploring dungeons, you may find these boxes as just items that may be within the dungeon period. Keep them. When you leave the dungeon, you will get an opportunity to open those boxes. We won't have it now, we'll have it after we finish the expedition. So at least for right now, any and all boxes that you pick up, put them in storage in the first chance you can. Because you can get some really good items out of these boxes, provided you open them up. Ah, the stairs are this way. Until then, I do recognize that they will soak up an inventory space, but in the long run, it's worth it. Trust me. In the original, uh, Explorers of Sky and Darkness, I believe there were maybe nine different types of boxes that you could get. Eight of them with descriptors, four of them were blue, four of them were what the... We'll get back to that. Four of them are blue, four of them are red. There is also a special deluxe box, which, I, if I remember correctly, is yellow and green. The deluxe boxes are especially important for you to carry, because they have very, very rare items within them. Pebble, Blast Seed, not bad, not bad. Ah. A little bit of cash, good. At that, I didn't recognize, I didn't mention it before, but one of the things that Explorers of Sky adds, hidden staircases. Very rarely, when you're exploring a dungeon, you may find hidden staircases. Take them. They'll take you to a secret bazaar with a lot of interesting shops here. I'm Curlia, the bazaar guide. Feel free to explore. At Mime Junior's Spa, you can heal all of your HP and, po and power and max out your belly for powder.
You can also clean any and all dirty items at Swalla here for a small price. If I remember correctly. Or not, grab bags. Uh, you know what, sure. Wheel of Gotcha, turn, turn, turn. And Ornberry. There are two other shops here. Oh, it was the Licky Licky here. Licky Licky will cleanse all dirty items. And yes, from now on, items may get dirty from certain types of attacks or traps. More on that later. Lastly, if you think you're you're in a pinch, you can pay 100 poke at Shedinja to escape the dungeon and pretend like it never happened. You know what? Sure, let's play the lottery a second time. A heal seed. Not great, but it's something. If I remember correctly, these secret shops will, in fact, advance the floor counter. So it's almost always a good idea to go into them whenever you encounter them. Seriously? Get over here, you. I want to whip you. Ooh, another box! Nothing really here. Oh, well, there is a. Chew on that. I'm starting to think this is a dead end. Yes, this is a dead end. Great. Ah! Help! Uh, uh... One, two, fuck. I didn't realize that was going to be... Move two. Help! I'm caught between a beaver and a seagull. I can't do shit! Come on! Oh, thank God! <laughs> oh, not again. Burn! Excuse me. I said, burn? Good. 